In this video, we'll show you an overview of how you can build a user interface in the WeWeb editor. So when you arrive on a blank project, you will have a home page in a blank section. You can create a new page here. Here, for example, we'll create an empty page from uh, for characters, but we could copy the home page if we wanted to, or any other page if we wanted to. And once you create a new blank page, you will be invited to start building your page. So you can go to the add menu and start dropping a section and a container. Uh, maybe you want to add a card, let's say an empty card inside that container. So now in your layout, you have a section, a container and a card, an empty card. Inside that card, you could add a text element, a couple, a couple of text elements, and let's say an image. There we go. Now it's a little bit big, so instead of having it as 100% width, on the right side here, we can edit the style of the item that is selected on the left. So here we will have a fixed width of, let's say, 300 pixels. We can edit our text as well, the style of our text. So instead of 16, we could say 24. And instead of a default font weight, we can change it to semi-bold so that there's a bit of a hierarchy between the two text elements. Now on my container, I could switch my container to take up 100% of my section and add a little bit of padding. Okay, so this is how you add items on a page and do a quick style. Now to style elements, you could do like I did here, change the text, for example, at this level, or you could pick a topography. In the libraries, tab, you will see the project library where you can add topographies or colors or spacings, or even view all the classes you're using in your project and components and templates. In this case, we started with a blank project, so there's nothing in there. But in my libraries, I can see that there are a few libraries available to me. So I haven't added any yet, but I could choose this company UI kit, for example, and have a look at what's inside. Nothing interesting, apparently. Let's have a look at the marketing website. Here I have topographies. I have a few colors and some spacings and a few section templates, maybe even a few components. Yeah. So I will add this library to my current project. And since I've added it here, now, if I go to my text element, I can bind to a topography from that marketing website library. So let's say, yeah, I want the style to be this heading three and here paragraph. So let's switch the size to 18 pixels. Now, WeWeb is a front end builder. There is no CMS content, no database or content management system inside WeWeb. This is intentional because building web application with a front end that is decoupled from the back end can bring a lot of benefits. So to build those dynamic web applications with WeWeb, you will need to add plugins. So data source plugins allow you to connect with external data. So to interact with external data providers like REST APIs, Xano, Airtable, Superbase, and, and you see here we have several uh, installed in our project already. We could also add an authentication system and extensions. So for example, we could just you know, click on charts, add it, and suddenly we would have access to chart components. So the plugins section is where you will add API connections to your WeWeb frontend. 
Once you have added one or more data sources, you will be able in the data tab to add collections. So here we already added a collection of data from Superbase, a couple from Xano, and one from Airtable. Let's create one from a REST API. So we'll select the source and we'll get all the Rick and Morty characters. So we'll copy paste this endpoint here. Now you see I received information from the Rick and Morty API and I can see that my items, the list of characters is inside an object called result. So let's add this here. So now we have those 20 items from zero to 19 from the Rick and Morty API. And now back on my page in the layout, if I go to the container that has the card inside, I can bind my list of characters right here. So let me do this here and bind this here. And now in my layout, I still have only one card, but it is repeated as many times as I have characters in my collection. And inside the card, I can also bind to information from the item itself, including images in a URL format. So now I could change this a little bit. Right now, the direction is vertical. Let's make it horizontal. Um, let's make sure it can wrap if it doesn't have enough um, enough room, enough width. And we can also add a little bit of spacing for both the column and the row. Let's see if I have a max width on my container. Yes, I do. So let's move it to auto. That way it takes up the entire space. Okay, now to go a little bit further, if I added an authentication plugin, I would also be able to access um, a list of users, add user roles and file storage. So let's add the WeWeb authentication plugin, but it could be, you know, you could use uh, Xano or, um, or Supabase, any authentication um, plugin you, you want. Once you've added it here, you will be able to invite users, but also create user roles, for example, admin, customer, premium, and also user groups. So for example, premium customers, where if the user has both the customer and premium role, they are a premium customer. And this is helpful because this list of characters, for example, we could decide to make this page private so that only authenticated users can access it or only authenticated users that are in the premium customer group. In this case, uh, we would need to, but you get the idea. Now you also have access to WeWeb Copilot, which where you can ask how to do something in WeWeb or use a text prompt to create a section or element that you will then be able to drag and drop on the page and edit as you would any other um, element. You have a more menu with advanced settings for your app. And here you have the preview and editing mode as well as responsive design, two different breakpoints for responsive design. So if you make a change here on mobile, for example, you could decide to center the content. This will be changed on mobile, but not on desktop and not on tablet. Other options, you can switch to light mode or dark mode. You can view shortcuts. Uh, you can open the editor in safe mode, look at your backups and the past publications, uh, connect a custom domain, 
go back to your WeWeb dashboard. And when you are ready to publish your application, you can click publish here.